Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. One of the summer jobs assigned the rangers is that of water safety patrol on Beaver Lake. Beaver Lake is one of the lakes that resulted from the big Tri-Mountain Power Dam. This lake is the favorite summer resort area for the citizens of Knotty Pine, Junction City, Canyon City, and even some of the folks from Central City come up to Beaver Lake. It's a breathtaking beauty spot. The water is as clear as crystal, and there are mountain ranges all around the lake. Then there's uh, something else breathtaking about Beaver Lake, which we'll find out in our story today, Water Hot Rods. Them there young villains are coming in pretty close to the swimmers, Byron. Oh, you said it, Ben. There isn't much I can do about it. I'm just a lifeguard here, and all I have is a rowboat. Well, why don't you call the water safety patrol? Let the rangers handle it. Oh, what good will that do? All the boats look the same, and before Bill and his boys can catch up with them, well, they've beached and are behaving themselves. You mean you ain't going to call the rangers? What for? Call them on the average of once a day about those water hot rods. What good does it do? None. <laughs> well, maybe old Ben better go over and talk to the boys. It's time something was done about this before somebody gets killed. Gus? Yeah, you like it, Mo? It's cool, man, cool. Man, how many horses is it? Uh, 75. Man, who staked you with a roll? My pop. I talked him into it. When are you going to skim it? Uh, I think I'll take it out tonight in the moonlight. Yeah, man. And the water safety patrol won't be around to pester us. This is crazy, man, crazy. Yeah, it goes like crazy, too, man. Wait till night and you'll see some real water scooting. We'll show them how to hot rod this tub. Hello, Ben. Your old Model A sounds good as new. Yep, she sure does. <laughs> when they made this car, they built them to last. Ain't much for speed, but uh, she sure is dependable. Summer and winter makes no never mind of this old girl. Talking about speed, young fella, uh, that's what uh, old Ben come over here to chin about. Oh, what's on your mind? Them there crazy kids racing around the lake in them suicide boats. Yeah, I know all about them. Well, why don't you do something then? <laughs> Don't tell me the boss ranger is stomping up a tree like a scared cougar. Uh, scared? No. Uh, up a tree, maybe, Ben. Uh, you see, there are a few legal angles to this. Well, then I say the law ain't no good. It permits them hooligans from there killing swimmers and folks enjoying themselves and rowboats and the like. Well, the law to be changed. You have a point there. I've, uh... Worked on this problem for a long time, Ben, and I think I've come up with an answer that might stop this. At least I hope so. Well, it better. Or I'm going to form a citizens' committee and run them young rascals off the lake. I don't mean many. <laughs> How's it doing? She sounds fine. Of course, I put it away carefully, according to directions last fall. I know you did. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have a problem on the lake this year with these outboard racers. 
Oh? Some of the boys acting up again? Yeah. Some of the citizens are getting hot under their neckbands about it, too, and I can't blame them at all. I know you always observe the laws and show the proper courtesy to swimmers and robos, but that's more than I can say about a few of the other teenagers on the lake. Um, old Ben was over to see me a while ago about this. He threatens action if we don't do something about it. He will, too. Old Ben carries a lot of weight out here. What do you want me to tell the guys? Tell them I'm going to make it real tough on them if they don't stop harassing swimmers and boats. I might even close the lake to water hot rods for the rest of the summer. Wow. Even for the careful racing boaters? No exceptions. Foolish men out there awake you too, Bill. Yeah, I've been watching them for quite a while, Gray Wolf. Why race at night in full moon? Well, I'd say that last got a new motor, probably a new boat. He's testing it out. Now, we got lighting lights on. Mm-hmm. Nobody on the lake. Not much we can do, Bob. That's right. You better not try that jet propel racer on the lake during daylight hours, though, or you'll be in trouble. Yeah, that's right. So will anybody else in boat who get in way. almost before the chickens this morning. How come? <laughs> Don't you like to see the beautiful lake in the quiet of the early morning hours? <laughs> Are you feeling all right? <laughs> sure, Henry. Why, do I look sick? No, but you talk like it. <laughs> Why, even the fishermen aren't out on the lake yet. In fact, there's only a couple of them stirring around their boats on the dock. Huh? I thought you couldn't see this early in the morning, Henry. <laughs> you mean this late at night? <laughs> Well, I guess it isn't that late. Those are some of the speedboat guys at the launching ramp. That's fine. I want to have a few words with those fellows. We're going to give them something to think about. Is that why you're carrying that sign? Right. I had this sign made up a week ago. I've been waiting for the right psychological moment to nail it up on the launching ramp, and I think this is it. What? You mean we've got to paint identification numbers on our boats? You can read, can't you, Gus? You mean you don't know why? Yeah, we know why. Uh, don't forget to read the whole sign, fellas. Especially the part about the size of the letters and the color. Uh, Henry will register your boats in the log after you put your numbers on. He'll assign them so there's no duplication. The uh, penalty for disguising the numbers or changing them after you're registered is a year in jail and a thousand dollar fine. Man, you really want to burn a guy if he makes a mistake, don't you? Changing registry numbers wouldn't be a mistake, my young friend. It would be done intentionally to throw the blame on someone else. And I suppose we can't scoot our boats until we get the numbers on them. You suppose right, young fellow. You better get a can of paint and a brush... And uh, to make it easier for you, I brought along numerical and alphabetical stencils. Hello, Ben. 
Tom. <laughs> Howdy, Bill. <laughs> hey, what you operating here? Sign painting school? Oh, they're pretty busy, aren't they? <laughs> Just like ambitious beavers. Uh, this little stunt of yours ought to make them behave like young gentlemen, eh? Oh, I'll say it should. Uh, hello, Byron. Howdy, young fella. Hi. You wondering what's going on here, too? <laughs> I sure am. But now that I'm here, I can see what Bill's up to. Boy, this should stop the water hot rods from scaring people half to death. Huh? I hope so. <laughs> Those registry numerals and letters can be seen easily far from shore with the naked eye. And they can be seen anywhere on the lake with field glasses. And they better not come close to the swimming areas or they'll be in hot water. All I have to do is sit there with a pencil and pad of paper. That'll do it. Then we'll pick them up when they come into the loading ramp. I've uh, checked the legal angles on this and it's okay. In fact, that's why it took so long to put this into effect. Well, what do you mean? I had the ranger's attorney in Washington give me an opinion. You know, officers of the law have to be careful that... They're not infringing on the rights of privacy and the right of every American citizen under the Constitution. <laughs> hey, you know, that's something I never thought about. <laughs> A peace officer breaking the law. But uh, I guess it's possible. Well, all the boats are registered in the book. As soon as that quick drying paint dries, they can launch their boats. Good, Henry. Now, there's uh, one other thing that bothers me. What? I don't see that new high-speed super scooter that was on the lake last night. I wonder who owns that. And when they'll try a daylight run. Give it another shot of paint over here, Mo. Hey, be careful it doesn't run there. Okay, boss. Man, is it hot with that respirator on? <clears throat> Man and how. Glad to get it off. Say, that bolt looks pretty sharp. <laughs> looks cool, all right. A couple of hours we can rub it down with wax and should be ready to go. Don't forget the registry numbers. Bill Jefferson means what he says. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about that. That guy gives me a pain. Uh, I got an idea how to beat this registry number strain, though. Yeah? How? I'll show you after I get it rigged up. Come on, let's stencil on the regular number. But I thought you said you had a way to beat it. Uh, I have. But we still have to put the right number on. Let's go. Come on, Henry, spill it. All the guys are here. Hey, uh, climb up, you guys. Hold it down. Huh? Oh, no, no. I called you guys together to lay you out, but good. You ain't following me out, mister. Get that straight. You'd better listen to what I have to say. The lake might be closed to racing boats for the rest of the summer. There's no guarantee that it'll be allowed next year. Yeah, I don't like oh, Ah, oh, these man, tough rangers, know. they murder me. Hey, don't you ever keep your yap shut, Gus? Yeah, button it up for a while. This is important to all of us. Yeah, There's a couple of wise guys in this crowd that make it bad for the rest of us. Bill asked me to pass the word that he'll make it plenty rough on us if this reckless harassing of swimmers and boats doesn't stop right now. Yeah, well, I guess we better be careful. Yeah. Bill can be tough when he has to. Well, I'd sure like to know who the guys are that are making it hot for the rest of us. Henry, I suppose you'll get special privileges if the rest of us are kicked off the lake. I will not. Now she's all set. We can take off for the lake and race. Do you think we ought to? Nah, come on. Don't tell me you're turning chicken, Mo. No, but Bill Jefferson's nobody to fool around with. <laughs> I've got everything figured out. He'll never catch us. Oh, no? Look at the size of that registry number. A blind man could see it. <laughs> I got that little problem solved, man. Look at this. Switch of numbers? Yeah, cool, ain't it? Yeah, man, but how do you fasten them on? Ah, oh, with these little hooks here. You can hardly see him. Like this. 
Man, they won't be able to tell who we are. Oh, yes, they will. What do you mean? Yeah, one set of switch numbers tells them we're Nick, and the other set is Henry Scott's number. Is that crazy fool, Byron? He'll kill himself. I don't think so. Must be a new boat. Look at it go. Yeah, I'm a looking. But he's got that hot rod wide open. Oh, he sure has. As long as he stays out there, we can't complain. Yep, I reckon we can. Hey, he's swinging in here to the pier. That cheap punk, he, he could have killed somebody. Well, you said it. He almost hit the end of the pier. Good thing so few were swimming there. Yeah. He missed a couple of them by only about five feet. Did you get his registry number? Uh, what do you think I wrote on this piece of paper? Well, let's go get Bill Jefferson. Hey, fellas. Here comes the boss ranger. Yeah, and his buddy. Nick, you're under arrest. Under arrest? What for? Don't play innocent with me, wise guy. Come on, let's go. Well, sure, okay. But I still don't know why you're taking me in. But if you say so, let's go. I'm not fighting the law. You use head, young man. You're in enough trouble now. All right, Mr. Hot Rodder, let's hear about it. Hear about what? Do you see this slip of paper, wise guy? Well, sure. It has your registry number on it. It was read off your boat by the chief lifeguard at the swimming beach today when you hot rodded your speedboat into within five feet of the swimming pier and raced out again. Now, don't tell me you don't know why we arrested you. Well, I, I... You better tell the truth. We don't have much use for liar around here. Well, I don't know what to say, except that I didn't do it. And I can prove it. My boat was on the conditioning rack until almost the time you picked me up. Is that so? Yes, sir. That's the honest truth. What do you think about that, Bill? I don't know. Nick, you're a pretty clean-cut lad, and I'm going to let you go. But I'm also going to check out your story. Well, thank you very much. Well, I like to race my boat, sure, but... Oh, I wouldn't deliberately try to kill people or break the law. Why well, I, I don't want the lake closed to racing. All right, Nick. You can leave. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, just one question, please. Shoot. How'd my registry number get on another boat? Nick, I wish I knew. But you can be sure of one thing. Yes, sir. I'll find out who switched numbers if it's the last thing I ever do. Switch the numbers, Mo. Yeah? What are you going to do? You see those guys fishing over there? Yeah, but you can't go between them. Uh, you want to bet? Not with you. What if you tip them over? Uh, they're supposed to have life jackets on. Watch this. <laughs> How's that, man? I didn't even hit them. Cool, man. Well, you tipped them both over. Ah, uh, so what? I'll blame Henry Scott for this one. How did it happen? I don't know. Just two fishing boats capsized. Stumpy, Gray Wolf, go after the men on the port side. Henry and I'll take the men's starboard. Right. I sure wonder how that happened. All right, throw the lifelines and pull them in. You fellas will be all right. You took aboard some water, but otherwise you're okay. I'd sure like to get my hands on the punk that dumped us. 
I've had enough getting half drowned, but I lost about a hundred dollars worth of fishing gear. Yeah, me too. Well, we'll go right out and try to recover your gear. Henry is an expert diver. Well, that'll be greatly appreciated, but what about that crazy speedboat? Well, we'll get him too, sooner or later. It better be sooner, young feller. He's getting crazier by the day. I know it. I just hope he doesn't kill somebody before we get him. Anybody get the number of that boat? Yep. Boy, that's good. Who got it? I did, with my telescope. You know, I got a funny feeling about that boat. Uh, let me have the number. We'll pick up the scoundrel. Sure. You won't have to go far to pinch him. Huh? What do you mean by that, you old grizzly? Just this, walrus face. <laughs> <laughs> what time to pay each other compliment? <laughs> what number is it? Take a look. Not Henry's number. What? Let me see. Why, of all the low... Control down... yourself, pal. Grey Wolf, Stumpy, close up the lake to speedboat race. Oh, uh, can't we wait a little longer? Maybe we'll find him. You heard the order, men. Yes, sir, Bill, right away. <laughs> Get boats out of water plenty quick and no back talk. Yes, sir. We catch boat in water any time we arrest owner and anybody with him. Lake is closed. Okay, okay, we heard you. Come on, man. Yeah, we better do it all right. We have 24-hour watch on lake. Don't try a race at night. <laughs> Yes, sir, Ranger. Well, get it out of the lake. Didn't you hear the lake is closed to speedboats? No, no, sir, I didn't. I just came up here yesterday from Canyon City. How about motorboats, Ranger? We ain't closed the lake to slow boats yet. <laughs> Did you get your boat out of the water, pal? Sure. First thing. Boy, I'd like to get the guy that's responsible for this. There'll probably be ice on the lake before we find out who it is. I don't think so. You got your thinking cap on there, Bill? Uh, yes, Ben. Uh, remember when you and Stumpy were calling each other sweet names? <laughs> yeah, I sure do. Yep, uh, ben was about to say something about that boat. Yes, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, what were you going to say, Ben? Uh, let me think a spell. <laughs> old brain cells don't turn over so fast nowadays, eh? Hush up, you old Wallace. Let me think. Uh, I got it. <laughs> it took you long enough. Well, that boat, I'm sure it's the same one that ran into the swimming beach the other day. Are you sure, Ben? Sure, I'm sure. I don't make these things up, you know. Oh, how can you tell one of them there hot rod scooters from another except my number? They're as much alike as peas in a pod. I know that, but I'm sure it's the same boat. Gentlemen, we're going to set a trap. Huh? What do you mean? Trap? Who's that? Grey Wolf, I want you to hold a forest fire drill. Only we don't tell a soul it's a drill until the men get out in the forest. Ah. Oh. I catch on. Now sound the regular fire alarm and make like it's the real thing. Let it be known that all rangers have been taken off the lake to fight the fire. Ben, you can gossip that around to the right people so it'll spread to the right ears. <laughs> yeah, sure will. I know some folks hereabouts that can spread news faster than a telegraph. Stumpy, Ben, Henry, and I will meet here tonight after it gets dark. Do you think the hot rider we want will try to race his boat on the lake tonight? Yep. He can't take the chance on tomorrow night because the forest fire might be out by then. Well, 
We've got to be very careful that no one sees us after the fire crews leave. Now, Gray Wolf, take them way out in the wilderness so it'll eat up some time. <laughs> right, Bill. <laughs> Henry, you and I are going to borrow an outboard motor. Huh? Where? From Johnny Potasik. Oh, no joking. Why, he's the holder of three speedboat racing titles. Right. He won the titles because he's got the fastest boat and the most powerful motor. I think all we need is the motor. Well, Stumpy should be hiding near the launching platform by now. Yeah. Boy, it's hot with these life jackets on. Whew, you ain't joking, Henry. But I guess we need them. Yeah. In case of a smash-up. We don't know what the other guy is going to do once he sees us. Anybody question you, pal, when you put your boat on the trailer and pulled out? No. I told him I was taking it home. Mm -hmm. There isn't any room to work there now, anyhow. Right. Well, yeah, listen. Ben, look through these night glasses and see if that's the same boat. Yeah, I, I sure will. Uh, uh, that's it, all right. Let's get them. Hey, Gus, there's another hot rod. Ah, so what, man? Hell, I'll be out here when the Ranger's gone. I don't like it. They're heading right for us and catching up. All right. Well, they won't catch this job. Hey, a spotlight. It's Rangers. Uh, it, it can't be. Look for yourself. They're almost up with us. Oh, uh, how can they catch us? We got the fastest boat on the lake. Shut down, man. Shut down. They want us to stop. Yeah, I got a few tricks to show them. No, man, no. It's no use. They're catching right up to us. They really got a hot ride. Okay, okay. What are they doing here? They're supposed to be fighting a forest fire. What a bunch of squares. Quiet down, you guys. <laughs> Fellas, I'm pleased to tell you that the lake is open to racing again. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, that's great. Yes, sir. And we won't let any more wise guys tie us up again, Bill. I'm sure you fellas will see to that. Yeah. Hey, uh, what happened to Gus and Moe? Well, they were convicted by the court, but given a suspended sentence. Now, they've been banned from the lake for five years. Perhaps by that time, they will have grown up. <laughs> Well, see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill.